Welcome to the screencast of Clamex AV for installation and usage of it on Mac OS X systems for Tiger and Leopard, which is 10.4 and 10.5 of Mac OS X. Let's go ahead and start by opening up Firefox or a Safari window and navigating to the website where we can download Clamex AV. As you can see, I already have Clamex AV set up as the home page. The URL for it is HTTP colon backslash backslash www.clamxav.com If we navigate to the download page and it may or may not ask you for certificates you do not have to install them at this time. We do have other installation guides for 10.3 Panther as, and the current one we're doing 10.4, 10.5 Tiger and Leopard. We're going to go ahead and select download for Tiger and Leopard. It's going to ask you to open or save to disk. I would definitely recommend save to disk in case anything does happen during the install. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel because I've already downloaded the software and it sits on my desktop. What I'm going to do now is double click on the DMG file which is just downloaded. It's going to go ahead and mount to my computer here and now this is the installation side. With a normal Mac install all you have to do is drag your icon over into your applications folder. Now I've already done so and have already installed it so I'm not going to do that at this point but you would click and release when the plus sign appears. I'm going to go ahead and X out of this screen now and open up my application screen. As you can see here Clam XAV does appear on my list. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it to open the program up. ClamXAV does ask for PayPal's to for does ask for donations via PayPal. You do not have to, but if you'd like to, you can. I'm going to go ahead and select maybe later. On your initial install of ClamXAV, it will ask you to input your administrative password into the software so that it will finalize the install, and it may ask you to update the virus definitions. I definitely recommend updating the virus definitions each time you open up ClamXAV, which I will do now. As this downloads, I'll definitely tell you about some of the features of Clamex AV. Unfortunately, like other antivirus softwares, you are not able to, to do a virus check over the entire computer at a single time. You can download and do scans of specific files and folders over the computer, which is a big difference between this and software you may or may not have used on Windows systems. As you can see in our status screen, it says virus definitions updated successfully. What I'm going to go down is I'm going to go and choose what to scan. It opens up just a normal finder window and I'm going to navigate to my desktop and just open a small file that I have. And let's go ahead and open up just a PDF file that I have and have it scan for any viruses. I'm going to go ahead and click start scan and it does tell us as always that large files will take a long time to scan and which was not very long at all 5.4 seconds for a one megabyte PDF or a quarter megabyte PDF file it gives you an output saying that there were no files found if it does find any uh, infected files it will then proceed to tell you what it needs to do to either delete or quarantine each of the files that has been our installation guide for Clam XAV. If you have any questions, please check back on our site. Thanks.